Hi there. So tonight I'm going to cook with you guys and or cook for you. No, I'm not cooking for you. I'm going to be cooking and I'm going to film it. Okay. So I'm going to be finally uh, using my spaghetti squash. Figure out what to do with that. And then I'm also finally going to use these hot Italian sausages that you guys all know have gotten into my cart and I've had all kinds of recommendations from you as to what to do. And here is what I have settled on. I'm going to just fry these up today, just kind of like they're brats. And then I am, the plan is I'm going to get the spaghetti squash in the oven and let that bake. And then I'm also going to make regular pasta because I know that there's going to be family members that would like regular pasta. And then from there, I think I'm just going to make like a spaghetti sauce and I'll put the, I'll just kind of chop up those hot brats and put those in the spaghetti squash and or in the in the spaghetti sauce and then we're just going to put it all over top of either noodles or the spaghetti squash and that's going to be supper so we'll see how this goes i don't really don't have any kind of recipe i'm just winging it warren loves to hear that when i say i'm just winging it for supper what temp for Spaghetti squash. Okay, so how to cook spaghetti squash in the oven. Here's the best way to cook spaghetti squash. It says to cut it in half, scoop out the seeds. Yeah, I didn't really want to cut it in half. I wanted to just bake a whole one, but maybe we will cut it in half. No fuss, no muss. Okay. Hi. <laughs> you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> okay, come here. Let me see. Pretend it's gonna be pitch black, and the two watcher guys. This is gonna take a long time between Legos and singing and everything else. <laughs> if we can eat before seven, I think that would be good. Okay, it's also pleasant to live. How to cook spaghetti squash? So it says forty minutes, four hundred degrees. Okay, so let's go. 400. All right, so I just looked on my phone. It says 400 degrees for about 45 minutes as long as you cut it in half. So I'm going to follow those directions. Um, I wanted to just cook it whole, but I think that's going to take too long. And it is already 6 or nearly 6, and so I just don't want to take a whole hour to cook this. So I'm just going to put about a teaspoon of olive oil into each half. I'm going to rub that all around. Downstairs. We do. That is very good. Peter, Mom, cut open this big thing. <laughs> are you guys super excited? And the kids are so excited I cut these open. Oh, do you hear that? I, yeah, I cut them open. What is, where is it? Right here. That doesn't look any, like any spaghetti to me. Well, you watch when it bakes. See, what was the inside? It was this. Like a pumpkin. Oh. We need to cook this, those things. This whole inside would be spaghetti? All, everything that's not the shell. When it cooks, it's going to look like spaghetti. Do you feel it will be good? Then I'm going to put some... Black pepper is that over what we, the whole thing. Is that what we usually put in it? <coughs> this is how my mom would always make brats. She'd always put some water in a pan, simmer them for a little while until they were done. And I think she'd actually let the water kind of uh, simmer away and then just brown them all around. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't remember if she put the lid on for a while or not, but I'm going to put the lid on for a while, let those cook. Sam has a brand new song, you guys. It's been a long time since you've serenaded me in the kitchen. So what do you got today? Hey there, Delilah. By Plain White Tees. 
<laughs> okay. Yes, bye. Okay. First time playing it for me, right? Yep. How long ago did you learn this one? Uh, about 15 minutes ago. Okay. So I'm going to try to learn it as quick as I can. That's a good song for your voice, too. Yeah, not That's bad. a really good one. All right, so here's what we got. We got some uh, bread here, and I'm just going to turn this into garlic bread to go with our kind of spaghetti supper, right? Good. So I just took a good, hefty teaspoon of minced garlic, mixed it in with some softened butter. We're going to just spread this on the bread to make a good spread for garlic bread. So I just put a little mozzarella cheese on and now I'm putting on some Parmesan cheese. Everything is coming along nicely here. I've got 12 minutes left on the spaghetti squash and that I'm starting to really smell the aroma of. It smells good. The, the hot sausages, they smell hot. My sinuses are opening up. And over here, I have some onion and the leftover garlic butter from my garlic bread. This is the beginnings of the spaghetti sauce. I did throw in a beef bouillon cube here uh, just to soften it while the onion goes. And now I'm going to start adding everything. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in one can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to put in one small can of tomato paste, tomato sauce and then different amounts of all of these. I have some just basic black pepper, some kosher salt, a little bit of brown sugar, put in some oregano, parsley, and of course some basil. Once I get all of that in there, I'm just gonna let that simmer away until I, you know, until this finishes, until the spaghetti sauce, I keep calling it sauce, the spaghetti squash is out and um, we'll just let it simmer until we have everything ready to assemble. I just took the spaghetti squash out of the oven. Um, I took it out the first time at 45 minutes and it was not done. So I did put it in for another 15. So now I took it out at 60 minutes and it's just perfect. I'm gonna flip these over. All right, 
right, so I've seen plenty of pictures online of what this was going to look like. So I pretty much anticipated this is what it was going to be like. I thought, though, that the noodly look was going to be longer. I wasn't anticipating them being quite so short, but um, it seems like in some of the videos I've watched, they just seem longer. Okay, the kids are obviously getting well past the time of needing to eat because it's 7.25 and I'm still cooking. So I think that we are ready. I'm just going to pop this garlic bread in, um, the garlic cheesy bread, and then we will be ready to eat. All right, things are wrapping up here. I'm getting super close to having everything done. Um, I'm just waiting on the garlic cheesy bread that's in the oven. I thought this would be a great time to answer one of... Um, one of my viewers questions and so if I can find it again shoot I seriously just lost it okay so Heather asks here she says how do you keep them I'm assuming she's speaking about my children from using items planned for meals like the cheese sauce or the blue tortillas etc so that's a really good question and I've done different things over the years I have had times where I've put put X's on things I've put things that are that can go in a closet. I've hid them back in my closet to keep them uh, so that I have them when I need them. But typically what I find works the best, like for example, the blue tortilla chips, the meal that we were going to have those with, I just made within the first couple of days that I went grocery shopping. And so I try to use some of those things that I know people are going to tend to gravitate towards. I try to remember to do those meals as soon as I can. Otherwise, basically, Probably the same as most other moms do. I hide things. I um, holler at kids when they grab it. I say, no, 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 you can't have that. Plenty of times other food has gotten eaten. You know, because remember, I'm not always here. And sometimes something comes up where it takes me out of the house and someone else has to make a meal. And when someone else has to make a meal, I don't require them to do anything particular. It's just kind of whatever they want to make. So when someone else has to make a meal in the house, they just make whatever it is that they want. You know, if Warren's going to be home with the kids or something, I don't say you have to make this. I might suggest some things, but other than that, I just let him do what he wants to do. And then, you know, if something ends up getting used up, I might just postpone that meal for when I after I do my kind of mid-month haul. I hope that helps. So let's take a look at the garlic bread. It's perfect. All right, it's time for smell-o-vision here, because if you like garlic, this is nice and garlicky. Smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna just get everything plated up. I'm gonna show you mine right away. So I'm just gonna eat an entire half. I just put a bunch of the sauce, which I put those hot sausages into, which are very, very hot. I put that sauce right over top of the squash, and then I put some cheese. I think I'm gonna add a little Parmesan cheese as well. And that is going to be supper. I think everyone else is probably gonna have it on just basic noodles. We'll see who wants to try it. All right, so supper is done. As you guys can tell, look at all of those dirty dishes. And truth be told, Amber kind of like forgot to do dishes when she was supposed to today. So she's got her work cut out for her tonight now that she has to do double. That was good. The spaghetti squash really did taste like I thought it was going to taste. It had definitely, definitely it had a squash flavor. Um, you know, of course, it is different than noodles. Peter wants to show us. A what do you got there? Dragon picture. Wow, that is very creative. Big, big claws, too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not the same as pasta, obviously, because it's not made out of wheat. But it is a good alternative, and I definitely think that I would buy another one. I've seen some other recipes, more of like taco -y style recipes. I think that would be really good on the spaghetti squash. And I also saw a recipe with chicken, and I want to say some sort of cheese maybe kind of mixed in as kind of like a cheesy ca cheesy chicken casserole, which that sounded really, really good to me too. So I definitely want to try it again. And the hot sausages were good, but they were spicy. Joseph actually had one and then he started crying. <laughs> and then our milk was still frozen from being in the garage fridge from last week's Polar Vortex. So he was trying to drink the milk and he didn't like that it was frozen. So it was a little bit of a difficult supper hour for us, but we got through it. It's late, it's 8.42 here right now. We have a lot to clean up and um, just a lot to still make happen here tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do want the recipe for, um, for the spaghetti sauce, I keep 
sauce and squash. I keep mixing those up. So the recipe for the sauce I will have in the description below and then I'll put down there my directions for how I made the the squash too if you're interested in that. So we'll um, talk to you guys again and as always if you want to start up a conversation with me definitely uh, start that down in the comments below because I'm still trying to answer every single one of those. You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.